Our second panel. I would like to introduce our second panel, testifying on this panel, and Mr. Akio Toyota, President and CEO of Toyota Motor Corporation, and Mr. Anaba, President and CEO of Toyota Motors North America. Gentlemen, it is the committee's longstanding policy that all witnesses are sworn in. Please stand and raise your right hand as I administer the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If so, answer in the affirmative. Let the record reflect that the witness is answered in the affirmative. You may be seated. Let me begin by first welcoming you, and I really appreciate the fact that uh, uh, you have uh, come to testify, and that, uh, Mr. Toyota, that you actually volunteered to come and to testify. That, to want you to know, we're very impressed with that. That shows your commitment and, of course, to uh, safety as well. And we want to appreciate the fact that you uh, volunteered to come. Mr. Naba, we welcome you here as well. And we've had conversations with you, you know, um, over the past few weeks and months. So at this time, we would uh, ask you to testify. Actually, we will give you additional time. Um, uh, we generally give five minutes, but, you know, being he is all the way from Japan, we give him more time. Yeah. So, Mr. Toyota. Yes, you may begin. His microphone. Yes. Thank you, Chairman Towns. I'm Akio Toyoda of Toyota Motor Corporation. I'd first like to state that I love cars as much as anyone, and I love Toyota as much as anyone. I'm here with my Toyota family of dealers, plant team members, and friends. I take that most pleasure in offering vehicles that our customers love, and I know that Toyota's 200,000 team members, dealers, and suppliers across America feel the same way. However, in the past few months, our customers have started to feel uncertain about the safety of Toyota's vehicle, and I take full responsibility for that. Today, I would like to explain to the American people, as well as our customers in the U.S. and around the world, how seriously Toyota takes the quality. Yes, Mr. Mr. Toyota, could you just pull the mic just a little closer to you? Thank you. Today, I would like to explain to the American people, as well as our customers in the U.S. and around the world, how seriously Toyota takes the quality and safety of its vehicle. I would like to express my appreciation to Chairman Towns and Ranking Member Isa, as well as the members of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee for giving me this opportunity to express my thoughts today. I would like to focus my comments on three topics. Toyota's basic philosophy regarding quality control, the cause of the recalls, and how we will manage quality control going forward. First, I want to discuss the philosophy of Toyota's quality control. I myself, as well as Toyota, am not perfect. At times, we do find defects, but in such situations, we always stop strive to understand the problem and make changes to improve further. In the name of the company, its long-standing tradition and pride, we never run away from our problems or 
pretend we don't notice them. By making continuous improvements, we aim to continue offering even better products for society. That is the core value we have kept closest to our hearts since the founding days of the company. At Toyota, we believe the key to making quality product is to develop quality people. Each employee thinks about what he or she should do, continuously making improvements, and by doing so, makes even better cars. We have been actively engaged in developing people who share and can execute on this core value. It has been over 50 years since we began selling in this great country, and over 25 years since we started production here. And in the process, we have been able to share this core value with the 200,000 people at Toyota Operation, dealers and suppliers in this country. That is what I am most proud of. Second, I would like to discuss what caused the recall issues we are facing now. Toyota has, for the past few years, been expanding its business rapidly. Quite frankly, I fear the pace at which we have grown may have been too quick. I would like to point out here that Toyota's priority has traditionally been the following. First, safety. Second, quality. Third, volume. These priorities became confused, and we are not able to stop, think, and make improvements as much as we are able to before, and a basic stance to listen to customers' voice to make better products has weakened somewhat. We pursued growth over the speed at which we are able to develop our people and our organization, and we should sincerely be mindful of that. I regret that this has resulted in the safety issue described in the recalls we face today, and I am deeply sorry for any accident that Toyota drivers have experienced. Especially, I would like to extend my condolences to the members of the Sailor family for the accident in San Diego. I would like to send my prayers again, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that such a tragedy never happen again. Since last June, when I look, took office, I have personally placed the highest priority on improving quality over quantity. And I have shared that direction with our stakeholders. As you well know, I am the grandson of the founder, and all the Toyota vehicles bear my name. For me, when the cars are damaged, it is as though I am as well. I, more than anyone, wish for Toyota's cars to be safe and for our customers to feel safe when they use our vehicles. Under my leadership, I would like to reaffirm a value of placing safety and quality, the highest on our list of priorities, which we have held to firmly from the time we were founded. I will also strive to devise a system in which we can surely execute what we value. Third, I would like to discuss how we plan to manage quality control as we go forward. Up to now, any decision on con conducting recalls have been made by the Customer Quality Engineer Division at Toyota Motor Corporation in Japan. This division confirms whether there are technical problems and makes decisions on the necessity of recall. However, reflecting on the issues today, what we lacked was the customer perspectives. To make improvements on this, we will make the following changes to the recall decision-making process. When recall decisions are made, a step will be added in the process to ensure 
the management will make responsible decision from the perspective of customer safety first. To do that, we will devise a system in which customers voice around the world will reach our management in a timely manner, and also a system in which each region will be able to make decisions as necessary. Further, we will form a quality advisory group composed of respected outside experts from North America and around the world to ensure that we do not make misguided decisions. Finally, we will invest heavily in quality in the U.S. through the establishment of an automobile center of quality excellence, the introduction of new position, product safety executive, and the sharing of more information and responsibility within the company for product quality decisions, including defects and recalls. Even more importantly, I will ensure that members of the management team actually drive the cars and that they check for themselves where the problem lies as well as its severity. I myself am a trained test driver. As a professional, I am able to check a problem in a car and can understand how severe the safety concern is in a car. I drove the vehicle in the accelerator pedal recall as well as the Prius, comparing the vehicles before and after the remedy is various environmental settings. I believe that only by examining the problems on site can one make decisions from the customer perspective. One cannot rely on reports or data in the meeting room. Through the measures I have just discussed and with whatever results we obtain from the investigation we are conducting in cooperation with NHTSA, I intend to further improve on the quality of Toyota vehicles and fulfill a principle of putting the customer first. My name is on every car. You have my personal commitment that Toyota will work vigorously and unceasingly to restore the trust of our customers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Toyota. Mr. Anaba. Chairman Towns, Ranking Member Isa, members of the committee, thank you for inviting me to testify today. My name is Yoshimi Inaba, and I'm the President and COO of Toyota Motor North America and Chairman and CEO of Toyota Motor Sales USA. As you heard today from Toyota President Akio Toyota, and as the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigation heard yesterday from Jim Lentz, President of Chief Operating Officer of Toyota Motor Sales USA, Toyota is taking decisive steps to restore the trust of the tens of millions of Americans who purchase and drive our vehicles. <coughs> our 172 team members and dealers across North America are making extraordinary efforts to complete our current recalls as quickly and convenient as possible. We have rigorously tested our solutions and are confident that with these repairs, Toyota vehicle will remain among the safest on the road today. We are also going further by installing advanced brake override systems in all of our new North American vehicles before the end of 2010 and in an expanded range of ex existing models as a customer confidence measure and taking comprehensive steps to ensure strict quality con control and increase responsiveness to our customers and regulators in the future. As you have heard, Mr. Toyota is leading a top-to-bottom review of our global quality control processes and will seek input from independent safety experts to ensure that our processes meet or exceed industry standards. 
as head of Toyota's North American operation, I'll be closely involved in this review, working with a new chief quality officer for North America. I also will take responsibility for ensuring that we improve our dialogue with U.S. safety regulators and that we take prompt action <laughs> on any issue we identify to ensure the safety of uh, American drivers. In inviting me to testify today, the committee asked me to address several issues with regard to our recent recalls. Let me summarize my answers here. Our recent recalls address five separate issues that we have identified with certain Toyota vehicles. In total, some 5.3 million vehicles across 14 models are affected by, the, by one or more of these recalls in the United States. The biggest recalls are for solutions our engineers have developed with regard to two specific mechanical causes of unintended acceleration. One involves all weather or inappropriate accessory floor mats that when loose or improperly fitted can entrap the accelerator pedal. The other concerns axle pedals that can over time grow sticky with wear in rare instances. The solutions we have developed for both these issues are effective and durable. With respect to possible accelerator pedal entrapment by the floor mat, Toyota recently designed a vehicle-based change that directly address, addresses the problem and announced the solution to the public in November 2009 as part of the safety campaign, announced on September 29, 2009. Owners of affected vehicles can, in the meantime, drive safely by ensuring that they use only properly secured, appropriate floor mats. With respect to street, uh, sticking accelerator pedal, Toyota announced a safety recall in the United States in January to address this issue. The sticking condition does not occur suddenly, and if it does, the vehicle can be controlled with firm and steady application of the brakes. We are confident that vehicles whose drivers are not experience any issues with their accelerator pedal are safe to drive, and Toyota dealers are rapidly completing the repairs on our customers' vehicles. In both these cases, Toyota thoroughly and carefully evaluated the technical aspect of these issues. However, we now understand that we must think more for a customer-first perspective rather than a technical perspective in investigating complaints, and that we must communicate faster, better, and more effectively with our customers and our regulators. Our recent smaller voluntary recalls of certain 2010 Prius and Lexus HS hybrids for a software update to a braking system, certain 2000 Camry cars to inspect the power steering hose and certain 2010 Tacoma trucks to inspect the front drive shaft all illustrate this new approach. Chairman Towns, ranking member ISA, and members of the committee, I assure you that nothing matters more to Toyota than the safety and reliability of the vehicles our customers drive. We are committed not only to fixing vehicles on the road and ensuring they are safe, but to making our new vehicles better and even more reliable through a redoubled focus on putting our customers first. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much. And let me thank both of you for your um, uh, testimony. Uh, let me begin by um, saying, have you told NHTSA everything you know about sudden acceleration problems? Have you told NHTSA? Both. 
According to my understanding. Put my mic close. According to my understanding. Yeah. We fully share the information we have with the authorities. Mm -hmm. Our Washington office has been always in touch with NHTSA, and we are fully cooperating with NHTSA in any information they require. As Toyota disclosed all information about other potential safety defects with your vehicles to the regulators, have you done that? あのその具体的にどうだということは分かりかねますがあの先ほど申しましたより情報はシェアさせていただいているという理解をしております。Uh, I do not know the specifics. However, as I mentioned earlier, I do understand that all the information we have are shared with the authorities. Let me、um, ask this question.、Uh, Today, Attorney General Andrew Cuomo of New York announced an agreement with Toyota, and this agreement provides that if a customer might be afraid to drive his or her car, subject to a recall, the dealer will pick up their cars, fix them, and return them to the customers. Now, the customer will then be reimbursed for any taxi or rental car expenses that they might uh, uh, incur. Uh, will you commit to doing this for customers nationwide? I repeat, if you want me to repeat it, I will be delighted to do sorry, so. I'm being translated. Yeah. Uh, Chairman,、uh, let me address that question be, be, because be I'm more local here. Be delighted. Yes.、Uh, I heard a number of instances that when this recall news came out, I think a number of customers who were very afraid and our dealers are fully behind it and dealers took care of the customers very well. In many instances,、uh, dealers. Went to pick up their cars and then also gave them a, a Toyota rental car for, for the time that they're not able to do. And、uh, this recall process is rigorously going on. I think there is a good understanding now on the part of the customers that the cars are being fixed well and they are confident about that. I guess the, my question is are you just doing this in New York or is this something that you're going to do? No, this is、nationwide. happening all over, all over the world. I mean, all over the, the nation, nationwide, yes. Okay. So I just want to make certain you know, we have that understanding because I, I understand it's going on in New York. And the last,、uh, and the last question that I have、um, uh, for you is that, Mr. Toyota, you have offered a brake override feature for some recalled vehicles. Why haven't you offered that feature for all? Toyota vehicles. あのちょっと説明させていただきます。あの予期せぬいわゆる加速の原因というのはあの大きく分けてあの四つあるというふうに思っております。Uh, allow me to explain the situation a little bit. Um, the yeah, yeah, factors, pull, contri pull, factors contributing to the unexpected acceleration, I believe, can be roughly classified into four categories. その一つがいわゆる電子スロットルの異常によるあれです。もう一つは、えー、やはり使い方とかあの使い間違いとかいうようなことが二番目に挙げられます。三番目はやはり車の構造上の問題。そして四つ目が部品の構造上の問題の。まあ、いわば四つがあるというふうに理解をしております。First, problem with electronic throttle system. 
Secondly, the way in which a car is used or misusage of the car. And thirdly, the structural aspect of the vehicle. And fourthly, the structural aspect of the parts used in the vehicle. So these, I understand, are four, four major factors contributing to unexpected acceleration. So, the Densi Slotter was, I 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 was, というふうに確信をしております。And of that, the electronic throttle control system is designed based upon the concept of safety first, and therefore, whenever there is any abnormality or anomaly there in that system, the fuel supply to the system is cut off. And even under very vigorous testing conducted internally or by NHTSA, no problem and malfunction was identified, and therefore I'm absolutely confident that there is no problem with the design of the ETC system. Yeah, BOS を追加することに決めました。Um, however, placing emphasis upon the fact that customers do have concern as to the possibility of unexpected acceleration, which may result from the remaining three reasons, in order to offer extra measure of confidence, as the chairman has just mentioned, we decided to add. Um, break override system. Yeah, let me see. Then a yes or no. I think mean, you know that's what I'm trying to get to. I mean, the yes or no because I'm, I'm on the Congress side. I am not a scientist. 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 I am 安心して乗っていただく車に BOS が装着されたという理解をしております。I yield to Congressman Heisler, but I'm trying to find out is that a yes or no? Let me address in a different perspective.、Uh, we are,、uh, just for the record, we are、uh, putting breakover ride system on all the models for North America coming off the line by the end of this year. And now,、uh, probably your question is retroactively. What about the existing、uh, models? We have already announced yeah, Camry, Avalon, and then uh, uh, ES300, and then IS. Those are already included in as an additional measure when we do a recalls. And now, we have recently announced、uh, Tacoma, which has a very high complaint rate,、uh, and then.、Uh, Added to a Venza and Sequoia. This covers probably about,、uh, my recollection is correct, 72% of the recall population. And any older one, technically, it is not possible. And therefore, we think we have covered. But <laughs> we do not you know, stop it there. We、yeah. carefully monitor、so. the situation. By the next year, with this new model, With BOS coming in with this retroactive actions, I think we will quite sure, we'll be quite sure that it will be very much lower than the industry average.、Uh, otherwise, most not all. I yield to the gentleman from California. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. One,、uh, and、uh, the chairman has,、uh, has proven that he can ask a,、uh, a, a question so complex as to even be difficult for people of your great knowledge.、Uh, and it doesn't surprise me. Let me. Ask in a different way the same question so that we all on the dais have clarity. And, and Mr. Naba, I will put this one to you. In order, isn't it true, in order to use a break advanced brake override system like this, 
Your cars depend on electronic systems. They depend on microprocessors and they depend on engine control modules that can actually simultaneously reduce fuel when sensing through the data bus that the brake has been pushed. Isn't that correct? Uh, you are much better technically <laughs> savvy than I am. I, I think I, I, I believe so. So I think uh, for all of us here uh, who are concerned, of course, about fail-safe and uh, acceleration caused by electronics, I think, I'm asking you, isn't it fair to say that although electronics could at times be a problem, and you ha your people have not eliminated that, the solution is in fact electronics in this case, and that's what's going to give the higher level of safety? Well, I can only say that this is an added measure of to uh, customer confidence. And of course, it, I do not mean to say it solved all the problems. Yes. Well, and, uh, I understand that in the earlier testimony, there were some uh, discrepancies, perhaps, between how uh, Secretary LaHood would explain certain technical occurrences and how you would. Uh, is that correct, that, that you would like to be able to correct the record uh, on some areas of Secretary LaHood's testimony? Uh, I'm not quite understand what specific comments are you referring to? Well, I, I guess I would welcome that if you would like to, we would offer you the opportunity to submit for the record any technical corrections in what Secretary LaHood's questions and answers were during the earlier testimony. Well, we'd be glad to sort of for record. Uh, thank, thank you. And then I would ask that we put up the unattended acceleration exhibit that I showed earlier. And uh, I, I put this up for both of you because in your uh, current advertisement on TV, you said something which I thought was extremely profound and a high goal. You said that good companies fix their mistakes and great companies learn from them. In the case of the unattended acceleration, in 2007, there was a problem in the United States for which the floor mats were changed. There was a problem in Japan with a different model, but similar in floor pedal, in which the Toyota pedal itself was shortened. And now, in the case of all these models, there is an electronic upgrade additionally to prevent an accident like we had in 2009. Would that be the outcome today, the outcome of the recall, including the electronics upgrade to advanced brake override? Is that the type of learn from your mistake that we can expect in the future on any problem that develops? uh, I do not know uh, this uh, situation uh, you referred to about 2007, but generally speaking, whenever a problem occurs, Toyota addresses those problems in the most sincere manner and attitude. Uh, may I make a comment? Yes, please. Uh, I came to know this Japan's problem to be shameful only in the previous hearing you mentioned and yes. that was the very first time that I ever heard and therefore uh, let me look into that if it is correct or not but at the same right. time I think we're the company that we learn great lessons from me from this instance and we try to do more so I think this is you know we are committed that we try to remain as great company, not as just good company. So I think we have a full commitment of our president. And then he has just uh, said, and we have many, many measures already taking place. I, I don't want to go no, into No, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and I have a copy of documents that you have provided to us concerning the, uh, the Toyota Blade, which is the Japanese-only vehicle. And we'll deliver that to you for your further update. My second and only other question, uh, Secretary LaHood uh, talked about wanting to but not necessarily having the transparency of worldwide sales and problems. Will you agree 
Mr. Toyota, to be the company that leads by providing the U.S. NHTSA with full transparency of your worldwide observations uh, and help set a model for all the major companies here in the U.S. あの、あの、ご質問体制を今整えつつありまして、グローバルクオリティコミ委員会というのを私はチェアでやることを決定し、第1回を3月の30日に予定をしております。その時までにここのアメリカ及び各地域でのお体制を整えこういう問題に正面からそしてオープンに取り
Uh, I suspect the uh, stock price uh, is reflecting that to you, uh, that, uh, that it can be very costly. I hope it doesn't destroy a, a great deal of the equity of your company, and I hope you can move on and move beyond this question. But I, I, I want to I hear in my own mind that there hasn't been this difference between the home market and the American market, or the home market and the European market, the home market and the European market, and the ignoring of the American market and the American customer, if I may. あの、アメリカのみならず、あの、私にとっては世界のお客様に、あの、本当に、え、同じサービスを同じ深度で行いたいというふうに思っております。ただ、え、コングレスマンご指摘の通り、今までの拡大のスピードが多少その人の成長の
製造物賠償責任のように、そういったその問題があったときに訴えられるというのは、なりますか、まあ、不法行為法と統一的なことだったんですけれども、訴訟できるようにあ,のあると認識をしております。I believe we do. Right. Uh, we, we have a little bit of a contest sometime going on in the United States. We call it tort reform. Tort reform. And, and, and uh, it's, it's an argument that my friends on the other side very often use in the medical argument field, that if you had tort reform and you just allow some people to die or get severely injured without recovery, that would correct things. Uh, I think you are making the best argument in the world I've ever heard of why we should have the present tort system. And I hope you recognize how, what kind of payment for your, the injuries and the damages suffered by innocent American citizens who, like myself, have, have grown up in an atmosphere that we had a great deal of faith in something that was stamped made in Japan, that it was of the highest reliability. And you, 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 you injured that thought process in the American public. And you will be called upon under our system to pay compensation for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I now yield to the gentleman from Indiana on that note. Let, let me just preface my remarks by saying we really need tort reform. Uh, <laughs> we should just forgive these companies and let them kill our people. Never mind. We just have a difference of opinion. First of all, uh, let me thank you both for being here. I think it's very, very good that you came. It shows real concern on the part of Toyota. And I also want to compliment uh, Toyota dealers around the country. I went to a couple of Toyota dealers this last week to take a look at uh, what's going on, and they're working day and night to correct these mistakes. And so to your Toyota dealers, I want to say thank you for working so hard to correct these problems. Now, after having said that, first of all, I have a case here that took place in 1997. I don't want to go into all the details on it, but a woman was injured in an automobile accident involving a Toyota. Uh, she lost both legs. And I would like for you to review that, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a response. Would you yes, do sir. that for me? Yes, sir. Okay, certain. I'll have my staff give this to you so that we can talk about that. The second thing I want to do is, I, I don't understand this. I went to the Toyota dealer, and this, this is the floor pedal mechanism that's used in Japan and in some cars here in America. This is one that's uh, manufactured by CTS here in the United States, and it is CTS, and they have done a good job on this. This pedal here has been involved in the accidents, I believe, that have caused the fatalities. This one here, there's been sticking and they've been putting a shim in there, a little metal piece in to correct that. And my question is, why the difference? These are going in the same model car, and why do, why do they have different specifications? Because this one here has caused the problems that's created some deaths, and this one here has had some sticking problems which have been created, uh, corrected, but it's different. And so when, when you're manufacturing the same car, why is it that they don't meet the same exact specifications? It seems to me that would be easier to correct than having one that's made one way and one that's made another way. あの、車はですね、ご存知のように2万点から3万点の部品から成り立っております。で、その車の設計は、え、仕入れ先と協力してやってることをまずご理解賜りたいと思います。As uh, a congressman already knows, a car consists of some 20,000 to 30,000 parts, and I would like you to understand 20,000 to 30,000 parts, and I would like you to first of all know, uh, know that we work together with the suppliers in designing those parts. Well, well, if, 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 I might, if I might interrupt, I understand that you work with the suppliers, but the designs are different. Mm -hmm. This one here has a different mechanism in the bottom than this one. And I'm just wondering why, if it's the same model car, there is a difference. Yes, because the 
、両方とも CA 先さんの設計を私どもが承認するという形を取らさせていただいています。とに日本とアメリカに使用するに値する優秀な仕入れ先さんが2社おられたということで、2つの設計,設計されたペダルが出てきたというふうにご理解いただきたいと思います。Some parts are designed by our suppliers with Toyota approving that, and in other cases, Toyota's own engineers design those parts. So there are two approaches used. In the case of this specific pedal,、um, the suppliers、uh, designed the pedal, and Toyota approved that. And in both cases, we were able to identify two excellent suppliers whose parts. Were worthy of us to use in the United States and Japan, and therefore、uh, those two、uh, parts designed by our suppliers were used in this pedal. So, I think that the Shire Saki さんとともに成長してこう,こうというあの考え方がございます。そういう意味では、一つの Shire Saki さんだけに発注するのではなく、同じ機能を果たす部品を作っている他のメーカーといわば、複社発注。というのが、えー、いろんなところで行われていることもご理解賜りたいというふうに思います。And on top of that, it is a philosophy to grow together with our suppliers. And in that sense, rather than placing order with one single supplier,、uh, we source the same parts from multiple suppliers. That is to say, when there are suppliers that can supply parts, That perform the same function, we do that. And this is another point I would appreciate your understanding. No, I, if, if I might real quickly just say I understand, but when there's a, a problem of this magnitude where people have been killed because of a part, and there's another part that didn't result in fatalities, but there was a sticking, it seems to me it would be easier to correct the problem if there was more consistency in the two parts. Okay, thank you very much. The gentleman's time has expired. I now recognize the gentleman from Maryland, Congressman Cummings. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank、uh, both of you for being with us、uh, this afternoon.、Um, and to Mr. Toyota,、um, I have read your testimony and I've listened to it. And I can appreciate you saying and meaning、uh, that you're sorry.、Um, the problem is that it's one thing to say you're sorry, it's another thing when it seems as if、um, time after time, There are pronouncements that problems are being addressed, and over and over again, they seem like they're not being addressed.、Uh, 2007, a fatal crash involving a Camry because、uh, allegedly of four mats, a person was killed. And, and we can't get away from these facts. September 2007, you then, 55,000 car, cars are recalled. And I know this was before your presidency. August 2009, California fatal crash, four people were killed, Sailor family. September 2009, 4.2 million cars recalled. And we could go on and on. And then just yesterday, Mr. James Lentz III. Said something that was very interesting, and basically what he said was that even with the sticky pedal and the floor mat problem, that there may be, this may not account for all of the problems. So, and he implied that maybe there were some electronic problems taking place. The question becomes at what point? Do, and, and I know also you want to regain the trust of your customer base, but that trust is hard to establish or reestablish 
when they see over and over again these kinds of situations and they say, well, why should we believe that things are going to get better? And I know that there have been members on this day who have said they've had some good things that Toyota has done, but I've got people in my district who, by the way, are saying they call and they have to wait to get their cars repaired. But at the same time, they, got to take, they have to take the children to the babysitter. They've got to go and do their marketing. I mean, this is just practical things that are happening. So I'm just asking you, how do you say to your customers, the people who take their hard-earned dollars in a tough economic time and spend them on a Toyota vehicle, how do you say to them that we can trust you now when, and, and I say this most respectfully, when it seems as if there is no end to this series of, of uh, uh, promises and then promises that seem to come short of reaching the goal of safety. I sincerely regret that some people actually encountered accidents in Toyota vehicles. あの、電子スロットル as I mentioned earlier, uh, with respect to the electronic uh, throttle control system, uh, the system itself has been designed based upon the philosophy of safety first, and therefore, whenever any abnormality or anomaly is detected, fuel supply is instantly cut off. しじのもといろんな再現テストを昨日まで、やってきておりますで、今までトヨタ社内でやってきた限り、問題はございませんですから、先ほどから電子ロットの問題ないというふうに申し上げているのは、あの、いろんなテストを現地現物でやった結果、
2011 uh, budget request, which cut uh, uh, National Highway Tran Transportation Safety Administration's vehicle research program and also further uh, reduce the amount for vehicle safety research in the budget. I didn't have this further. If that could be inserted also in the budget, uh, I mean, in the, uh, uh, the budget information in the record appropriate to my uh, previous questioning of the secretary without objection. I will review it and then, uh, and we will, but I reserve the right to reject. All right, well, it, again, okay. And I'll proceed. Uh, this is indeed a very embarrassing day uh, for the United States National Highway Safety Transportation Administration. Uh, it's equally a very embarrassing day for Toyota to have the son of the founder of Toyota here as a, a chief uh, officer to come before the United States Congress. Uh, I'm embarrassed for you, sir. Uh, I'm embarrassed for my dealers that I've talked to. I'm embarrassed for uh, thousands of people, hardworking Americans who work in, I guess, over 10 plants across the United States. Uh, I thought actually, I thought we were doing pretty good because that Toyota was taking quite a hit and I'll put in the record later on your safety record and some of the things you've done, positively information that, that I got until I, I was shaving the other day and heard the news of the, of the memo that was, uh, that was prepared by a, a gentleman uh, who I didn't even know his name. Uh, bring over a copy of the July 6th uh, Inaba memo. I hadn't read this actually, the details of it today. Mr. Inaba, this is one of the most embarrassing documents I've ever seen. You, you're, in your preparation of this, you, you embarrassed all the people I represent, those hardworking people across this country this is absolutely appalling, sir, that you would identify, and I know you were on the job only a few days, but key safety issues and identify as one of them on page 14 of the document you prepared, uh, you identified uh, the, the problem of, uh, of the, the, the uh, safety issue in, with, with regard to this, uh, these, these pedals. Then on page 16, wins for T Toyota Safety Group. How could you possibly put in writing th this and list as wins for T Toyota, uh, it, it, particularly under the defects entry uh, and negotiated equipment call, recall on Camry ESSA saved 100 million with no defect found. I think you've done a great injustice, sir, in, in this. I, I don't know if it was, uh, it's not a rookie mistake. Obviously, you've been with the company. But to prepare this document, uh, to undermine the good working people uh, and the reputation. Uh, Toyota has an outstanding reputation and actually has had a great safety record. But this discredits everyone. How would you respond, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, let me get the uh, facts straight. This is the only few days after my arrival uh, okay. to the company. And then... Had, had you been uh, with Toyota before? Uh, yes, I, I How had How long? Been. Uh, 40 years in total, sir. Uh, but this is after two years of absence away from Toyota, I also first became... Uh, the president of Toyota Motor North America and then I visited one of the few days to Washington office I had no idea what the company was oh, and that's why our staff wanted to give me a, a orientation material I uh, was stunned to find your name on the front page to address to me I did not know that till today yes, sir. okay and the uh, point is that you know I was in the middle of orient orientation tour Yes, I mean, I, may, I didn't make it very clear. 
my name is on it, it is presented to me, not me made it. Uh, that, that's all I want. But wanted. you were aware of this. This is present, again, this is information you had in your company prepared. If, if in the future any company prepared a document like this and presented it to anyone in the company, to me it would be, uh, uh, to me it would be one of the most injurious things you could do to anyone's reputation. I know it says on the side confidential and all of that, but he, do you realize the people that have been let down, uh, me, the, the, the people in my district who go to work every day in those to Toyota operations, uh, the, the sales, uh, and already you've, uh, the, the reputation uh, has been severely damaged by, by what's been done here. I honestly, with my honesty, I do not recall the meeting in any depth, but at the same time now, I, re I see that. Uh, I think it, I must say to you that it is so inconsistent yeah. with the guiding principle of Toyota, well, and my feeling is, and therefore... It, it, it's, it's just, to me, it's unbelievable. Yes, I, I, I feel the same. Toyota, you're in charge of the company Quite and so have that respo uh, t responsibility. Mm. Can you assure the committee that this is not the approach, this will not be the approach <laughs> of... Uh, Toyota now or in the future? Because now I'm getting more familiar. I'm a president of that company. I am going to rectify that if the there's the any tone of it. The gentleman's time is expired. I Mr. Toyota. The gentleman's time is expired. And uh, let me just make an announcement before we uh, move any further. There's a vote on the floor, and it's actually uh, three votes. And uh, we plan to uh, continue. Uh, and of course, the uh, gentlewoman from Washington, D.C. will assume the chair. So, um, but, but I also want to let the gentleman from Florida know that his time has long expired. Yes, sir, and if the, uh, Mr. Toyota could just answer that. Uh -huh. Can you tell us the details? I don't know the details. I don't know the details. So, I don't know the details. But, a new manager who was sent to the time, the details of the presentation of the presentation was sent to the time. ごくごくどこの部署でも普通に行われているというふうに思いますがその書類の中身によって企業全体のそのものがそういう揺らぐというものではないというふうに一般論ではございますが思っております。I do not know about that specific document you referred to and I do not know the comment. However, generally speaking, when a new person takes office as president. Uh, it is customarily done in any division to make presentations on various contents or substances going on in the company. However, generally speaking, the substance and contents of such documents does not affect the entire company in a way to cause drifting of the company itself. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Kucinich, has five minutes. You can, or you can, if you only have a few minutes left. I'm, at, I'm, I'm calling on people who are left. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Mr. Connolly then, since it goes on this side. We are. You are. Mr. Connolly, you have five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Mr. Toyoda, welcome uh, to the committee. Um, when did it first come to your attention that there was a problem with acceleration of your vehicles? あ、そうなんだ。なるほど。いつ最初にシラハクされましたか。あの、私あの、7月から、あの、社長を任命されておりまして、え、ですから、え、それまでの情報と、お、それ以降 社長として知ってる情報には随分大きな差がございます。で、そういう意味で会社としてはあの知ってたことと私個人社長として知ってたところは分かれると思いますが。
、えー、私が知っている限りのことはあのはっきり申し上げます、えー、知らないところに関してもあのしっかりとですねあの調べてご報告するということで、えー、あります。I was appointed president in July, and there is a major difference between the sort of information I had received prior to assuming the position of president and the information、uh, I get to receive after becoming president. And therefore, there may be some difference between the information that company may have had as a company and the information I personally had as president. However, I will clearly state whatever I know, and even in those cases where I do not know or I do not have any knowledge of, I will look into the matter and supply the report to you. ですからあのいつだというご質問に対しましては、えー、昨年末あたりということだと思います。So,、uh, responding specifically to your question of when. Um, I would say、uh, sometime、uh, toward the end of last year. Toward the end of 2009. That is correct. Okay.、Uh, were you aware of the fact that there had been complaints by consumers long prior to that time? あの現在は認識をしておりますですが、社長になる前にそういう情報が入ってたかというと、正直、えー、認識が今のレベルではございません。Right now, I'm aware of that.、Uh, however,、uh, did I have that sort of information before I became a president?、Um, I didn't have that sort of information、uh, with the same degree of accuracy that I do now. But you had some awareness.、Um, we just heard from Secretary LaHood prior to your testimony, and he talked about the fact that NHTSA sent a team to Tokyo to meet with the top leadership of Toyota to bring to their attention as forcefully as they could. The fact that there was a problem and that it needed to be attended to, that meeting was prior to your testimony just now that you only learned about this problem in December of last year.、Uh, were you not aware of the fact that NHTSA had sent a team to Tokyo headquarters? NHTSA が東京にチームを送ったと、そしてあの問題に関してミーティングを行ったとさっき言われたんですけれども、そのミーティングそのもの、まあ、今、社長は12月頃あの問題をしたとおっしゃったんですけれども、そういったミーティングのことも分かりなかったこの件に関しましては、えー、いわば主幹部署が品質管理部門になります、ですから、品質管理部門のあるものが、えー、ニッツァの訪問を受けて話し合ってたということは存じ上げておりますが、その内容、その時期に対しては、えー、私はちょっとあの、えー、分かっておりません、大変申し訳ありません。On that specific point,、um, that was a matter handled by the division in charge of quality assurance, and certain person in that division, I understand, received the visit from NITSA representatives and had discussion with them. I know that. However, I do not know the specific content of the discussion nor the timing of that meeting. Well, there seems to be some discrepancy. Again, we're trying to get at what did we know and when did we know it、uh, to sort of gauge the company's, the quality of the company's response to the serious problem on behalf of its customers.、Uh, and obviously,、uh, we have an interest as American. Congressmen and women to protect our constituents who are your customers. And we know that the company certainly was made aware by U.S. officials through NHTSA who flew to Tokyo for this express purpose. And you're telling us in your testimony you didn't know about it. You were aware of that trip and that meeting, but you weren't aware of the fact that there was a serious acceleration problem with your vehicles until just a few months ago, December of 2009. Is that correct? 
Because if it is correct, given your position in the company and your family's association with the company, that would constitute extraordinary compartmentalization. はい、あの、その通りでございます。12月まで知らなかったわけですよね。あの、私自身は、私自身は、あの、ニッツァの方とミーティングがあったということは、あの、認識しておりますが、その内容については把握をしておりません。I personally know that there was a meeting uh, with NISA representatives, but I do not know the content of that meeting. Okay, I, I'm just going to ask one more question, and that's of uh, Mr. Inaba. I'm looking at this confidential document that was made available to the committee yes. that uh, my colleague was just referring to. And, and uh, on one of the pages, uh, it has a, uh, you know, just a series of ticks like this, and the bottom tick in your briefing, I understand what you said, it says secured safety rulemaking favorable to Toyota. What, and I'm, I'm going to run out of time, but could you at least ask, answer, what was your understanding of what that meant? As I yeah. said, I don't recall meeting in any depth, and I had no idea about this recall process and back then, therefore I have very little knowledge. Uh, about it. And funny enough that I only recall quiet cars in that whole list of that, you know. Of course now I made aware that, you know, there, there was, you know, uh, a description of that, but I, I don't recall it. I, uh, Madam Chairman, I know my time is up, but I, I would Gentleman just go for the record expired. that this document is dated July 6th of 2009. Gentlemen's time has expired, Mr. Davis. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair, and uh, I'd like to thank you and also uh, Ranking Member Issa, members of the committee, for the, uh, uh, allowing me to uh, join uh, from my position on the Ways and Means Committee uh, on this uh, oversight hearing on Toyota's recalls. I have the honor of representing Toyota's North American headquarters uh, in Erlanger, Kentucky, and uh, wanted to voice some perspective from, uh, from our region. Uh, Toyota directly employs more than 172,000 in plants and dealerships in the United States. And uh, it's, Toyota has an integral part in our economy in Kentucky uh, and investment in the United States of America. They've maintained operations at a world-class level of quality in the Commonwealth for nearly 25 years. The Georgetown facility now manufactures engines in addition to automobiles, all part of a $5.4 billion investment uh, in our state. Toyota has been an exceptional corporate citizen in Kentucky. They've given more than $37 million to local charitable groups with missions ranging from education to social services. And not only has Toyota supported local charitable needs, but Toyota has also been one of the Commonwealth's strongest job creators. Toyota North American headquarters is in Erlanger, Kentucky, and the Hebron's Parts Center supplies distributors across the continent from my hometown of Hebron, Kentucky. In all, more than 8,000 Kentuckians work directly for Toyota, and almost 1,500 are in Kentucky's 4th Congressional District. Additionally, 90 Toyota suppliers are located in Kentucky, creating more than 10,000 additional jobs. Toyota's decades-long reputation for quality, safety, and service is based on their high standards of quality and innovation and based on their corporate ethic of discipline, honor, and humility. They've had a positive and transformational effect on virtually every aspect of American manufacturing, and I can speak to this as one of the few manufacturing professionals who serves in the Congress. Toyota is, uh, as Congress conducts uh, these hearings related to Toyota's recall, we need to keep in mind Toyota's willingness to do something unusual in American business politics in the Congress, and that's to actually take responsibility and ownership for the problem and continue their longstanding commitment to quality, and more importantly, for the well-being of their customers. Careless words and unfounded allegations by those who may have other agendas uh, can do irreparable harm to job creation uh, in Kentucky and in the United States. At a time when quality jobs are in short supply and unemployment in Kentucky and the Ohio Valley remains above 10 percent, the jobs created by Toyota are more important than ever. Echoing the concerns voiced by Kentucky Governor Steve Beshear and other governors across the United States in a recent letter to Congress, I urge the members of this committee and my other colleagues to be thorough in their investigations of these issues and to arrive at conclusions based on evidence that is uncovered rather than circumstantial speculation or sensationalism. Let's focus on the facts rather than giving way to the temptation to engage in political theater. 
Congress must exercise appropriate oversight in determining if National Highway Transportation Security Administration or Safety Administration is able to effectively identify and comprehensively investigate automobile safety facing Amer issues facing Americans. And moreover, America needs clear and consistent automotive safety standards applied to all manufacturers in this country, not simply one, to ensure the safety of the entire American public. I appreciate your willingness to come and participate in this today and the contribution of your uh, business uh, to our country's economic strength and wealth. And with that, Madam Chair, I thank you and yield back. Thank you for your comments. The gentleman's time has